Ever remember your high calling? October 19th, in heavenly places. Wherefore I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them, and be established in the present truth. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 12. No matter how long we may have been traveling in the way of life eternal we need often to recount the mercies of our Heavenly Father toward us and gather hope and courage from the promises of His Word. Peter realized the value of constant vigilance in the Christian life, and he felt impelled by the Holy Spirit to urge upon the believers the importance of exercising great carefulness in the daily life. Always in remembrance. Oh, if only we were to keep before our minds those things that pertain to our eternal welfare, we should not engage in any foolishness or idle speaking. Our life work is before us. It is for us to give diligence to make our calling and election sure, by giving heed to the plain instruction contained in God's holy word. There are many wrong things which we allow to pass by unnoticed when by our godly conversation we might set an example of right doing that would be a standing rebuke to the evildoers. We cannot afford by our example to seem to sanction wrongdoing. There is a heaven to win and a hell to shun. In large churches of believers, there is special danger of lowering the standard. Where many are gathered together some are more liable to grow careless and indifferent than they would be if isolated and made to stand alone. But even under adverse circumstances we may watch unto prayer and set an example in godly conversation that will be a powerful testimony for the right. We cannot afford to speak words that would discourage our fellow pilgrims in the Christian pathway. Christ has given his life in order that we might live with him in glory. Throughout eternity he will bear in his hands the prints of the cruel nails by which he was transfixed to the cross of Calvary. We are now fitting up for the future, eternal life, and soon, if faithful, we shall see the gates of the city of our God swing back on their glittering hinges that the nations who have kept the truth may enter into their eternal inheritance. Manuscript 23, 1910 Let us pray. Gracious Father, thank you for your constant mercies and for reminding us of the high calling we have in Christ. Help us to always remember the things that pertain to our eternal welfare and to live with vigilance and care in our daily walk. May our words and actions reflect your truth, setting a godly example for others and standing as a rebuke to wrongdoing. Strengthen us to avoid carelessness and indifference, and give us hearts full of encouragement and love toward our fellow believers. Lord, as we journey through life, Help us to keep our eyes fixed on the eternal inheritance you have promised. May we remain faithful, preparing our hearts for the day when we will enter into the joy of your kingdom. Thank you for the sacrifice of Christ, and may his love inspire us to live lives worthy of your calling. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen.